Hello. I'm washing clothes today because my grandma said, which I'm sure your grandma probably said the same thing, or your mama. Whatever you're doing on New Year's Day is what you'll be doing the rest of the year. I ain't trying to be washing the clothes on New Year's Day. <laughs> so, there you have it. I'm using this Ajax. Um, and sometimes a little blue dawn to get any spots or ring around the collar. That's what I need. to clean. Ready to go. Hello. I am up somewhat. Look what I did. I just changed the bed in my daughter's room, the bedding. I bought this this summer at a yard sale, um, and I felt like it was a little expensive. <laughs> I paid $10. Um, I felt like it was a little expensive at the time, and when I got home, I was disappointed because it's a, um, I thought it was getting a queen, and it's actually a... I want to say it's a twin or maybe even a full. So, yeah. So, I think it's pretty. It's going to go for now. <coughs> Excuse me. Until um, I figure out or she figures out what she's actually going to do. So, y'all may see. I don't think I have anything else, so. I'm gonna say you may see something else, but I don't think I have anything else in here. Did the lights come on? Let's see. Oh, they're not plugged up. <laughs> I don't think I have anything else in here, so you won't see anything else. Okay, there you go. All right, so yeah, that's how it's looking. I think it's pretty. The yellow, it's kind of different. So, not bad. That's the gray. Not bad for today. So, I'm going to do some makeup today. I'm playing a little makeup today. Actually, I'm just going to do my um, everyday makeup look. Well, I, I need to do some homework. I need to edit some videos. I need to work on the little work that I have to get done. And, um, I thrifted this shirt at the free thrift swap. So, no, what was this one? Oh, this is at the dollar yard sale. So, I don't know. I think I did this haul on a live. So, I need to wash my hair, <coughs> but my son is leaving on Tuesday, um, Tuesday, on well, Wednesday morning, sorry. My son is leaving on Wednesday morning, so I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to wait, and, um, okay, well, that's working. <clears throat> I'm just going to wait until after he leaves so i can have more time to spend with him so i'm just gonna wait all right that's irritating me so i'm gonna go close it you know what else like stuff irritates you so <laughs> so you gotta fix it 
Um, the light's on. It's raining here. It's dark. The lights are on, but it's dark. So that's why it looks like this outside because it's, it's dark out there. A little sunlight's trying to peek out. <clears throat> so my lights are still back there because I have not figured out a place for my lights. So until I figure out a place for my lights. They're gonna have to stay there. Quick makeup. Four minutes of talking to nothing. Um, how y'all doing? What y'all got big plans for today? I don't. <laughs> I'm um don't have any plans at all, actually. I'm gonna figure out what we're gonna eat today. <clears throat> but I don't have big plans uh for today. I got my hoops on. I feel like I need something else. But I am just going to be at home today, I think. You know how that goes. Until somebody says, come over here, come do this. You know, I'm at home. So, <clears throat> I don't foresee that happening. Hubby had to go to work for a little while. I just need some foundation and I don't see any. <clears throat> I wonder if it's in my other purse foundation that I've been using my go-to but not see it. All right, hang on guys. Let me go see if I can find this foundation. I'll be right back. All right, let's see if it's in here. Or no. It is. I have been using this. Um, it is Black Radiance. I like the powder, but and I love the colors in the Black Radiance, but for some reason, my skin is so oily, so um, <coughs> for some reason, and I'm using the six, oh, what is it, eight, six, 19. But for some reason, the actual foundation <clears throat> is too oily for me. So, so I'm just going to use that uh, little Burlington brush that I picked up. This thing is so soft. Uh, My son, <clears throat> my daughter, um, and her friend took a son out last night. Of course, they didn't get into early this morning. And so, he's knocked out sleep. They were supposed to go get, the, all the boys were supposed to go get haircuts today. But, <clears throat> what doesn't look like that's happening? It's Monday, so I don't even know if... Um, any places would even be open and then new year's I try to get him a haircut every um whenever he gets here but um and then new year's day i don't know i got my stuff supposedly organized in these little bags that i thrifted you might remember me thrifting these bags unblemished <clears throat> so they were 99 cent I did it, I think, on a live. Redefine. I think I did it on a live. I hope I uploaded it. If not, you got a sneak peek. All right, so I'll try to, but I can't keep it organized, so. Um, I am going to do my brows if I can find something to do my brows with. If y'all hear that noise, it sounds like my washing machine is done. <coughs> I burned um, a candle thing. I should lay all this stuff out. But I burned like a candle thing yesterday. <coughs> and that thing has never made me cough. But for some reason today, <coughs> I'm 
coughing. All right, so I'm just gonna, I can't find my little normal brow thing. I got these from Dollar General. They're just eyeliners, so I'm just gonna fill them in. With this one, this one has the sharpener on the end. <clears throat> so I'm no brow expert. I am not. So this is all I do. I don't, I think some people can really do pretty brows. And I <clears throat> make mine a little bit longer than where my natural ones stop. But, you know, I don't have good brows. So I just make sure that I filled in and I leave the very end <clears throat> right there. I leave that blank. If you can see it where it be, my brows begin right there. Like I leave that blank. I don't put any on it because when you spread it out, it's going to go everywhere. So I'm just grabbing any brush. I have several of these. So I'm just grabbing any one of them. And I'm just going to see. Then I can start back. It's like coloring or painting almost. I can start back towards the front and bring it on down. I don't like really thin brows and I don't really like really thick ones either. So, um, I don't know. It's just the balance. I always, this one is always perfect. This one, this woolly bear over here, he don't want to work out. It always. There you go. And I don't like the look on me. <clears throat> I notice um where I put makeup up here. I just don't like that. Like, you know, you put like concealer up here on the top. That might look good in photos, but it just does not look good in person on me. So I don't I don't do that. Um I looked I looked at um Oprah the other day. This is an e.l.f. brush, by the way. And it is actually the brow pencil um, here. And sometimes I use it, but, you know, <clears throat> it just depends on what's going on. But um, I looked at her eyebrows the other day, and they were, her makeup artist did them, and they were more rounded and more natural. I noticed that a lot of people are doing the kind of more square ones. Um... I tend to do, and before I even saw her, <clears throat> I was already doing mine more, more um, rounded. Because I think that just works better for me. All right, let's get um, some uh, concealer or something going. I've been using, and I, I don't know if y'all saw me at the funeral, I have been using this as concealer. Concealer. I got this from Dollar Tree. It's a BB. I don't know if you can see it, but it's a BB. Um, Benefit Beauty Cream. It's sass, sassy and chic. Skincare and makeup. Um, I don't know. I don't know if this is um, medium or dark, but I bought it specifically to be a concealer. <clears throat> and it's not really dark. Y'all see that color? But anyway, I have been using that as concealer. Look how light that is. But I've been using that as concealer and on my <clears throat> on my eyelids, which, you know, if you <clears throat> I got this one, the NYX Jumbo Pencil which is the um jumbo eye pencil which is great it's in 604 milk light <clears throat> to put up on your eyes you know so then when you put your eyeshadow on it's like serves as a face i guess but um yeah but i haven't opened it i've been using trying to use up all these products i watched a um makeup artist i don't know his name because it was my first time and it was just one of those recommended things <clears throat> but he was saying you should make your instead of doing like uh what we normally do like put the concealer under there he was saying you should draw these lines straight down your nose and then I'll show you what he what he recommended. Uh, straight down your nose. It's gonna be so messy. I gotta clean these. Out. 
<clears throat> but anyway, blend it straight down your nose and then take your brush and blend over. And I have noticed, I still put some under there because uh, I forget, but I have noticed that that actually works a bunch better. I put too much on because I'm on with y'all and I ain't used to, um, you know, doing all this on camera. Uh, uh, there you go. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah. Uh oh. Oh, too much. So, yeah. Isn't that pretty? <laughs> oh, yes. This is. <clears throat> but other than that, yesterday was very, very. I usually don't put this much on, guys. I'm sorry. But, uh. uh I usually don't. Also, don't do, um. My makeup. So I'm just going to go back with my makeup regular. So I'm just going to take this makeup brush. <laughs> my husband called. And just talking about the rain, how bad it is. And I'm just going to go back over it. And that's going to, I'm just going to do it. That's going to be okay. See how that's looking? Yeah. Let's blend it out. I promise it's going to come together. Looking kind of crazy right now. But it's going to come together. But I have um, a little dark circles under my eyes. And I think we all do as we get older. And um, so I just... Um, at first I never used like... And then that's going to give me sort of the highlight too in those cheekbones. And it's going to be fine. There you go. Bring some of that down. Okay. Which that gives me a more sort of rounded color. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. <clears throat> what else, guys? Um, so I did that. Uh, I got to figure out what to do with this hair. I was going to refresh it, but it just, I oiled it last night, but I just need to, it's just at that point where it just needs to be washed. It just needs to be washed because it's drawing up and it's, the curls are gone. <laughs> curls are gone. See how bad it drew up? See? My curls are gone. And yeah, and that looks better. That's why I can't, I couldn't be a makeup artist because I'd be all over the place. I'm trying to do their hair and then I'd be trying to uh, do something else. You see that? And it, I don't know, it kind of, I feel like it contours my face. I know that's not contour, but I feel like it just kind of <clears throat> adds shape and focus to my face. All right, so I'm going to, um, this is a blush. And as you can see, it's already a lot of blush on there. So I'm just at home today. So I'm not even going to. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to dab it in there. I think I'm going to be okay. Because sometimes my husband doesn't. He says I make it too pink. <clears throat> so I'm not going to make it too pink today. Since I'm at home. I have to watch that. I like it. It's pretty. You know, I'd be putting it on. I'd like it. It's pretty, so I'd be putting it on, child. I don't know. <laughs> it's still a little light in there. Um, more than I need it to be, want it to be. So, hmm. <clears throat> I think I'm going to go in with a little contour. I feel like I have another darker contour, but I'm not really sure where it is so i'm gonna go in with my little i actually have a contour brush i don't know where you are i'm going with one of these okay That's what I, and the darker color it's the um <clears throat> black radiance true complexion it's the 801 for a dark to deep okay it's there 
So I'm gonna go in with that. This darker color up top. It's not really dark, but I'm just gonna go in right in there. Okay, see that? And normally, just when I'm at home, I wouldn't do that. But I did make the, you know, I did, <clears throat> I'm gonna go around there. Cause I did make the sort of mistake of, I don't wanna contour it a little bit here. Of adding a little too bit, too bit, too much concealer. Can I get that out? <clears throat> so I'm just gonna rub that in, and that's gonna help to lighten that a bit. Okay, see, see, have no fear. I'm just contour just a little. Now, yeah. now, yeah. now I don't know how it's looking on camera, but. It looks more natural in person. So I think on camera, I'm still looking a bit washed out. But in person, <clears throat> I'm actually not. Okay? In person, I'm actually not. Um, I look way, very, very, very natural. Girl, I'm loving these eyebrows. Woo! Love that. <laughs> yes, when you look at yourself and say, you look good, honey. You know you're really doing something. <clears throat> A little blush still on that little so I'm just gonna got these little things from Nordstrom they ended up not being what I wanted them to be but they were that this brush is ooh, but y'all see that blush on there so that's all I'm doing I'm just going in okay because this is an old flower brush and I washed it and it's just all out of shape but I still use it but I think what I'm gonna do is um clean some of these older brushes out and then use them for like I don't know other projects other things I still just love that brush because it's big <clears throat> what else oh I'm gonna do eyeliner and so basically the same eyeliner pencil if I can find it that I used for my eyebrow is gonna be the same one I use black but you can use um, brown, because I, I used to think brown well, didn't work on my brows, but they do. Because once you keep blending it in, it looks fine. Looks just fine. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Put a little bit on the top. Now, this is something I can't talk and do. Now, see, I'm looking. Looking like myself. <clears throat> more and more like myself every time. So, I'm just going to blend that a little bit because I'm not going to be out here looking like I can catch came out of that 90s. How we used to leave that up there. I'm just going to blend it a little bit, okay? All right, look like myself. <clears throat> All right. Um, yeah, look like myself. Uh, let's see. What have you guys been up to? What do you have planned? Do y'all going to a big party? I'm not doing a big party. I'm not going to a party. I'm gonna, I always said that I'm just gonna be at home today. I just think that's cute. So I might do that. Yeah, I might put that pin on. I got on some jogging pants, so you know. Hubby just called, he was like, Y'all need anything? We need some lunch. <laughs> ah, but I guess not trying to figure out what we're gonna cook. I need to, uh, as always, I need to go to Ross. <laughs> oh gosh. And I'm gonna put my angels on. Oh, this thing is heavy. <clears throat> I have to put it. I know I'm supposed to be doing makeup and doing everything else. Mm -hmm. As usual. That's why when I can't get ready going to work, I'll be doing 50 million things. I get ready very eclectically. Be all over the place. That's where my mind go. All right. 
cool. <clears throat> All right, that's gonna add a little spark to my outfit. Now, for, what are we missing, guys? We're missing eyes. That's what we're missing. Okay. Reach down here in my makeup bag and get my, I have a little small bag that I keep and it has nothing but eye stuff in it. And it's this one. Um, it's Adrian Vittadini. I think I talked about this bag before, that it was supposed to be um, an accessory bag for like all of your um, tech stuff, like for your phone to charge it, your chargers, and had the little, the little chargers. And I think I've taken them since taking the little pack out. Um, but the bag is just... As much money as I paid for it is just, not only paid like 10 maybe $15, but it's just kind of flimsy. And so I wouldn't, I think it's one of those things I said I would never, I wouldn't repurchase Adrian Bittadini. And um, I probably wouldn't repurchase any of her brands because that's just kind of soured me on her brand. <clears throat> I think I got it at Burlington, but it's really sold at some really ni nice high-end places. But I've seen it in low-end places too. She makes a low-end line. And, yeah, so this is my big old makeup bag. Y'all see it's got makeup on it. But I thrifted this. Um, at the, And I've got to show you that thing. I thrifted it at the thrift swap, swap. So I didn't pay anything for it. Everything was free. As long as you brought stuff, and I brought a ton of stuff. <clears throat> and so it is uh, BB, I guess, or B? I think it's BB. Y'all tell me. All right, so that's got all my makeup in it. A whole bunch of other stuff. So, what are we doing? <coughs> I'll take some allergy meds. We're doing eyes. Mm -hmm. We're doing eyes. So, this is my go to. I love this. Uh oh, scratch my lip. Go to. It's Mary Kay. Okay. I don't know if it's upside down, but that's Mary Kay. And one of my girlfriends had a Mary Kay party, and I think I won this. I won two, and so I gave one away. So that <clears throat> uh, everybody would have a gift. A couple of us got two things and one gift, and we all kind of separated our gifts like if you got two lipsticks like we just separate our gifts so everybody can get one but i didn't want to <laughs> i did but <laughs> nobody had to tell me to do it i mean i did but i was like man i had two of these one for my purse and one to go self shiny <laughs> ah, funny all right and then i am loving this lash sensational by Ma maybelline Oh my gosh, am I loving this. I love it. I don't think I will buy anything else from here on out. <clears throat> Unless I got the last ex lash extensions. Um, went and got the individual ones done. I figured out how to do it myself, which I don't think that's going to happen. I'm going to need way more tools for that. But that's it. What we're doing. See how they came up? Make my eyes bigger, wider. See? See? It worked out. I just need to put on some lip gloss. And I just saw my lip gloss that I was going to put on. I think it's in my purse. I'm sure it is. Because I put it in everything. I put it in everything. So I'm going to use this one. I don't even know where I got this from. It is um, nude. Blushing nude is what it is. It's like a gold. I, I'm not sure where I got it from. I hate that I don't know because I would definitely buy this again. I don't know. It's, it feels very luxurious, so I was like, I don't know if I got it from Five Below. No, it doesn't. It feels more luxurious than Five Below. 
or whether I got it in a set with something else. I just don't know. Blushing nude, so I don't know. And I can't see because I ain't got no glasses on. No, it says Maybelline or something. I don't know. I don't think it does. <clears throat> so anyway, that is my look. That is my look. See, and when I do that, especially if I'm at home, the way that my eyes are, when I just add just a little bit of the black on the bottom and kind of <clears throat> blend it, these are the best brushes, I tell you. I got these little cheap brushes from um, Walgreens. Dome and crease brushes. Oh, they're awesome. I got to try to find some more. But when I just, you know, blend it, and then I'm just using, y'all saw that. I just use that one little thing of cream, right, from Dollar Tree. And look how much color and depth that I get. So, and I'm done. Um, and it took too long, but I'm done. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, I am going to, I got to finish washing clothes because you know, I told y'all, um, my grandmama said that whatever you're doing on, um, New Year's Day, that's what you'll be doing the rest of the year. So she ain't trying to be washing no clothes tomorrow. So she's trying to wash out her clothes today. <clears throat> so I'm going to do that. And I want to get try to get homework done while my son is asleep. Or, and edit videos, whatever I got to do. While my son is asleep. Because I don't want... I want to spend time with him. I know he's going out today with the fellas. He got some Christmas money. <clears throat> so he's going out today with the fellas. And he... I'm just putting all my makeup back. And he... Um, and my daughter's supposed to pick him up, too. So they were going to hang out for a little while, and then he was going to go out and hang with the fellow. So that will mean that once he heads out, he'll be out. And it'll be... It'll be here in the morning. <laughs> Before he comes back, and then he'll have to... Um, yeah, and then he'll be here tomorrow. Probably the same routine. <clears throat> and then Wednesday morning, he'll be leaving. So I just want to get myself together so that's what i've been doing um washing clothes and i feel like we got a ton of clothes to wash i don't know where all these clothes came from y'all been to my house putting y'all clothes in my see y'all been to my house putting y'all clothes in my in my dirty clothes basket that's what's been happening <laughs> that's what y'all been doing because i know that um i know i don't have all these clothes so yeah so yeah <laughs> i've got to figure out i'm gonna figure out that paint because i had it covered up um when i used to have my office in here but i gotta figure out um the paint so i can figure out um how to fix that figure out how to fix that thing in the back because it looks pretty except for that little thing so yep yeah, this is the look this is it for the day. Um, this is what we're working with for today. Okay. That's it. That's what we're working with. Just for me being at the house. Child, I ain't going nowhere. I ain't doing nothing. Just washing me and washing clothes. Uh, <laughs> that is about it. That is all I'm doing today. Yes, I think it turned out good. So thank y'all for hanging with me. I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope you do something exciting. If it's nothing but watching a movie. Oh, you know, I might do. I might watch uh, while I'm after I do all of this. I might watch um, a Bollywood, uh, Bollywood, a Nollywood movie. I've been watching uh, these movies from um, Nigerian movies. Ghanaian, uh, Ghanaian movies, Ghanaian, Ghanaian, Ghanaian movies, uh, movies from Ghana, movies from um, Nigerian, Nigeria, and I've just been loving it um, because it, they tell the story in a very fun and interesting way. And so they tell the story in a very fun, unique, interesting way. Now I'm looking kind of washed out on camera, but 
promise you it's not this light in person so but anyway maybe the light but i um have been watching those movies i might start doing some reviews on some of those movies because i just think i i just Ooh, I just, I love them. I love the way they tell the story in African movies. I love the way that the stories are told. I love the way the, you know, the characters are developed. It's so different from the way that we would do it here in America. And so, yeah, so I'm, I'm enjoying those movies. And if you want me to review some of my favorite movies, I will. Um, so what else is upcoming this year? I, um have a book that um that i need to unbox because i don't even know what it is that someone sent me in the mail someone very special and very amazing miss helen h sent me a book i think it's a book i'm thinking of y'all know how i am with packages i always try to guess what stuff is by filling it <laughs> okay so y'all know because you know y'all know how bad i am because the last time I was thinking they sent me some rollers and it was actually my palette. <laughs> so anyway, um, because of the way that it was packaged. So anyway, I think it's a book. Okay, I think it's a book. I think. Okay. Um, and then I had a publisher to um reach out to me and send me um a book to review. And um and they want me to review some more books. So in this upcoming year, that's one of the things we'll be doing. We'll be reviewing uh, some books. We will be talking about movies, um, especially um, Nigerian and Ghanaian movies. And so I'll be telling you where to, where I watch them. And I don't know, I'm just excited. I'm excited. Everybody's talking about their plans for the new year. I'm just excited about the year i'm in school of course so i'm just excited about the new year and i'm excited about what we're gonna do and what this channel will do and what we'll be doing together and so i'm committed to this channel more than ever before yeah um got a lot of recommitment um to this channel and got a lot of rest so that helped me to recommit and i'm excited about what i'm seeing my fellow youtubers do and how they um are doing their channels some really great good great creators out there and so i'm inspired um last year uh, right after i fell a publisher reached out to me to do some book reviews and i just after i fell i got sick and i fell and i never really um or maybe the book came or some of the books and stuff came while I was sick, I can't. While I was uh, recuperating, I can't really remember. But so I never really got around to reviewing the book. So I am going to um, show you that book, and I am going, um, you know, to really make continue what I started in 2018. Although you guys never saw it on film, but continue what I started in 2018 of reviewing books. If you don't know, my degree is uh, my bachelor's degree is in English, so I love words i love writing all of that <clears throat> i love reading i've always read um lots and lots of books so i want to um, begin to read again it's been kind of hard being in school to read but you do need um an outlet to relax and do uh, let your mind explore and wonder <coughs> and your imagination and to revive your mind and renew your mind so yeah i'll be reading a lot um and i was um although it's part of something i was already doing i you know was really inspired by um helen h and uh to do this because she is amazing amazing creator and she, if she you haven't checked out her book reviews go check out her book reviews and her books um she's been talking about that she loves um you you're really if you're a book lover and even if, if you're not um you'll be inspired i believe to start and begin a reading and i need to paint that <laughs> get out my nerves so i'm gonna go look and see oh uh, this is ambulance passes but i'm gonna go and see if i can find that paint that's gonna be one of the things i do now all right i am getting out of here because out of the beauty room <laughs> going to to the kitchen and i'm gonna see what i can rustle up to cook i know i got a banana i ain't cooking a banana i froze some bananas the other day because i want to make some 
<clears throat> face mask and I was like the bananas has kind of gotten old and a friend of mine was writing me about doing a uh, banana and avocado uh, facial mask or scrub or something she had um, bought and I was like you know what I can uh, I got these old bananas if I don't do anything but do the banana I can do that maybe one day on my face so who knows I might tape it and let's see how it goes all right <clears throat> I'm gonna get out of here and hope you guys have an amazing day it's new year's eve do something wonderful for yourself if it's nothing but cook yourself a meal go out to eat order from your favorite restaurant call your favorite friend sit with your favorite friend on youtube me uh hanging out with me so yeah do something do something do something for yourself um and um, think about your goals and your ideas. Um, I did a vision board yesterday, last year, and I think I'm going to stick with my same vision board for this year because a lot of that really hasn't changed. I think I'm going to do something different other than a vision board this year. I'm going to do something kind of different because um, once you do it, it's really nowhere to put it. So um, I got to figure out another way um, to really do my vision board this year, something that I can take with me and I can look at and pull out and just kind of review. Um, so that's what I'm going to be sort of working on, trying to figure out how that's all going to work for me this year. Um, so I hope you're working on your plans, but I hope most of all that you're celebrating, that you're really, really celebrating, finding a way to celebrate. And, you know, celebrating can mean just buying, you know, a cupcake <laughs> you know it can mean just buying a cupcake or a cookie or a cake or your favorite slice of cake or your favorite cheesecake um or going to the cheesecake factory it could mean whatever it means to you right and so do something that's special to you at this time of year this season as we welcome um the new year and we let go of the old and so this is a really great time to let go of old things hurts pains to forgive people, to let it be a washout, let it go, release it. Hey, it happened, and now we're free, and now we're letting it go. And so that's what I've been working on. I usually work on that this time of year anyway, but <clears throat> I've had you know some situations in my life this year that have made it very important for me, and that was the lesson to let go, to release, to forgive. Um, to release and to forgive. So always thinking about, as Oprah says, what's the lesson in this? So when my mom died, it was like, what is the lesson in this? <clears throat> you know, go through things. What's the lesson in this? Um, and it's just been, you know, a crazy tough year uh, for us. And so in a lot of different ways. Um, and so <clears throat> I'm just excited about the new year, I'm excited what for what is to come. And I'm excited for how much I will grow personally and continue to grow. Even my kids being at home, <clears throat> this, um, you know, my daughter moving back in and my son being at home for a break. He's finishing school early, three years, but I think he's going to stay on another fourth year to finish because going in, now he's in his third year but i think he's not going to graduate in may we think i'm not sure <clears throat> but he's going to stay the fourth year <clears throat> excuse me and do a um research project because he needs to do some research we'll see how that all works out but we want him back south as close to south as he can get <laughs> so we can go see him more right so um and i'd love for him to move to nashville would absolutely love it for wherever he wants to go. So um, all of that and learning how to talk to my kids and let my kids talk to me and talk to their dad because they're adults now. You used to do everything for them, be the mommy. And so now they're, you know, they're used to doing all these things on their own. And so learning to communicate with adult children and adult children and parents communicating together, uh, it's been a huge huge lesson these last couple of years and we're continuing to learn because it's not easy if you guys have adult children and you're have been empty nesters and you know 
communication is so, so important. And so learning how to communicate with each other, giving them the space to be themselves, to be adults, and to be um, the bright, amazing people that they are. They're communicating out in the world, but then, you know, they come home to you and it's like, do what I say. And it's like, oh, that really doesn't work. That's the environment. My husband and I have talked about that. That was a lot of us who are 68, 69 babies. That's how our parents were. But it doesn't really work for the 90s, um, 2000 babies. You know, my babies were born 96, 98. So it doesn't really work for them. Um, and we are this, those of us born that 68, 69 in our kind of generation, we're so flexible. We're very, we're one of the most flexible generations <laughs> that exist. And so we um, want to appease and we want to grow also and we want to learn. So for us, it's a learning experience. And so we listen and we soak up information and we learn and we learn from our kids. We learn from our elders. We learn from everyone. And so it's a different experience. All right, I'm going to get off of here because I've been talking too long and I only meant to come on here like in 16 minutes. All I meant to do, B-Love said that you only have to, if you really want to make an impact, don't make a video less than 16 minutes because it really doesn't work towards your analytics. And I've been on here too long already. All right, but I love y'all and it's hard to say goodbye. So I'm going to go. <laughs> I'm probably going to put some photos at the end. I feel like today I'm working on my voice. I feel like my voice um, in some of my videos has been um, slower and has been um, quieter because uh, of some of the things that are, you know, have gone on, like my mom passing away. So I did notice that there is a drop, a change even in my energy. So I'm trying to get that energy back up. And I'm noticing that. So I'm noticing, you know, myself, how I'm um, out in the world, how I'm being, uh, projecting myself into the world. And camera helps you to do that. And so anyway, working on a lot of stuff and a lot of stuff on myself because I'm amazing, honey. And so are you. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video. I love you. All right. Put you some makeup on, honey. Spray you some perfume and feel good. All right, guys. All right. Happy New Year. When I see you tomorrow, it will be 2019. Can you believe it? It will be 2019. Ah, amazing. We made it another year. And I'm so proud of you and everything that you've accomplished. I am so proud of you. I'm so stinking proud of you. And so grateful to you for being on the journey with me and for loving me and for hanging in there with me. Um, I know it was up and down on content when I fell and all this different stuff happened this year. And I was up and down on content and uh, taking breaks and all of that. But, you know, I'm learning what's the lesson in it. What's the lesson? And so one of the lessons is, is just to stay strong and to keep going and to have faith in myself. And so I hope that that this lesson that I've learned, um, that you you take this lesson, OK, to say stay strong, right, to keep going and to love yourself no matter what, no matter what happens. And. Be sure to comment below, what were your lessons? What were your big lessons from 2018? Tell me, what were the big lessons that you learned from 2018? And what will you take into the new year? All right, I told you mine. All right, loving myself, being kind to myself, being patient with myself. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And don't let anything get me down. That's what I learned. My own emotions, to work on my own emotions. <laughs> And to keep my emotions together, no matter what is going on in the world around me. And so we've all had amazing lessons. I'd love for you to share your lessons and I'd love to hear about what they are. All right, guys. So share them in the comments below and I will see you, I promise, in the next video. Bye-bye, guys. I don't know if it looks dark in here, but I was trying to show you my little outfit today. <clears throat> What I got on, if I can get this chair out of the way. I don't know why it's so dark. But, as you can see, I got on the jogging, jogging pants from Walmart. It's just so hazy. Let me see if I can turn this around and get something. Alright, I got on 
the jogging pants from Walmart. I'm just going to do a roll. This little shirt, I think I got it from Burlington. Of course, this is my thrifted shirt. I got my little thrifted angels on. Okay. And I got on just these joggers because I am cleaning up today. And I got, I don't know if you can see my socks, but I got on socks from um, Dollar Tree. And that's what I'm working with today while I'm cleaning up. So I hope you enjoyed this OTT. Oh, OTD. <laughs> this OOTD. I hope you enjoyed this OOTD. And, um, yeah, get you some jogger pants from Walmart, honey. <clears throat> so Walmart got it going on. I don't know what you're talking about. Let's see. If you can see my outfit. I'm so proud of myself. Yeah. Walmart got it going on. Mm-hmm. Boom. Bam. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. We can do this. See if you can do. There you go. Now you can kind of see it a little bit better. Strange. 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 Yep. See? Comfy. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm having too much fun. So, I'm going to get off of here. For real. This time. Bye. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And go ahead and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I put out a new video. And subscribe. I know you want to be a part of the family. I sure want you to be a part of the family. And guys, I love you so much. Happy New Year. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Love you.